Well, you know how group policies can be used to create and control users' environments? Well, email address policies can assign email addresses to mailboxes and mail-enabled users, contacts, groups, and public folders based on a set of conditions, just like group policy objects. Now, you can create these email policies to assign specific email addresses based on criteria like departments or business units. For instance, your company may want to have an address of user at stormwind.com assigned to your corporate user. Users. However, our instructors may require user at stormwindlive.com email addresses. You can do all sorts of things like that with these email policies. And in Exchange Server 2010, the process that creates or modifies a mail-enabled object applies to the email address policy. Also, anytime you can make a change to an email policy, you can allow it to run immediately or you can schedule it for later. You can also update the email address with the update email address policy command. By the way, email address policies are not limited to just assigning basic SMTP email addresses. As you can see here, there's a whole list of ones that you can use. X.500, X.400, MS Mail, CC Mail, Lotus Notes, all of those are now at your fingertips to be assigned by these email address policies.